What's your name, big fella? That's embarrassment. Welcome to headquarters, embarrassment. <laughs> the main protagonist in Inside Out is Joy. She's the outgoing, optimistic, and determined leader of the other emotions who does everything she can to ensure that Riley will always end up safe, happy, and content. Throughout the first film, she has to learn the importance of accepting other emotions, especially those that seem to counteract her achievements. With the release of Inside Out 2's trailer, it seems the sequel will follow the same themes, with Riley's new emotions needing to learn the same lesson. Interestingly, the four new emotions could directly oppose one of the five Riley has had since childhood. However, with nine emotions in headquarters, there's an imbalance occurring in Riley's mind. At first glance, joy is the only emotion without a new counterpart. In today's video, we're discussing potential emotions that could appear to counteract joy. Let's go! Lead on, mind map! Show me where we're going! Okay, only… Number 1. Gloom Fans of the original Inside Out may miss out on the fact that Joy already has a counterpart who appeared in the film. The character known as Gloom was an early concept for an antagonist when the writers for Inside Out were in early development. Gloom appears as a depressive force that gradually grows in force and power. Like the other emotions, he had an appearance as a visible figure, but the concept was later scrapped and not used in the final film. However, his concept designs and other images about his character are available within the art of Inside Out. In his concept art, Gloom would also appear as a shadow-like presence who loomed over the others and grew alongside Riley's despair. His primary goal is to overtake Riley's other emotions, suppressing and silencing them as he does towards the end of Inside Out. Instead of becoming a physical form, Gloom becomes an unnamed and invisible presence within Riley's mind that only appears when she loses hope in her current situation. After Riley decides to run away from home and return to Minnesota, the control panel in headquarters turns black and becomes unusable. The control panel's change was Gloom, who arrived to lock Riley in a depressive state of mind. Until sadness stopped him. Gloom's purpose to instill melancholy in Riley is the complete opposite of joy. Moreover, he's a creature born of darkness, while she represents light. While he's an unnamed villain, his presence appears throughout the film. Gloom could make an appearance in the sequel. In the trailer, Anxiety takes over headquarters throughout Inside Out 2. Her influence could create the perfect conditions for Gloom to appear, subverting expectations by making him the true antagonist of the franchise. He could render the control panel obsolete, forcing Riley into another depression. Moreover, he could become so strong that he receives a physical form, manifesting with a character design similar to his original concept art. You ready? Yeah. All right. Let's play some hockey! Number 2. Grief Although Gloom appears throughout the first film, his presence as an unnamed and unacknowledged force leaves room for different emotions to become the primary antagonist in the sequel. Joy may receive an entirely new emotion as her counterpart, which could include grief. Grief is a complex and overwhelming emotion. It's complex because people process it through a specific cycle. The five stages of grief is a common and well-known concept, and people often use it to explain how they're processing loss. However, joy becomes difficult to express when someone feels grief, even if the two emotions can coexist. While grief may seem situational, it can appear in someone's daily life. Many people believe grief accompanies the loss of a loved one or a family pet, but it can be more nuanced than that. For example, Riley feels grief throughout the first film. Even though the emotion isn't named or labeled as such, it may not be on the same level as experiencing a family member's death, but Riley does lose her childhood home, her friend group, and everything she loves in Minnesota. She's constantly mourning her old life, which adds to her homesickness. Although Joy tries to help Riley feel optimistic about how much her life has changed, she can't stop missing her friends, struggling to sleep in her new room, and crying when reminded of nostalgic memories. Again, these situations could be an interpretation of Riley grieving her old life, preventing Joy from fulfilling her purpose. Fortunately, much like embracing sadness, grief is a natural and healthy way for someone to process many kinds of loss. Grief is also an intriguing option for Joy's counterpart because, unlike gloom, it's not an inherently negative emotion. Without feeling grief, people wouldn't process or progress after experiencing a significant loss. And allowing themselves to feel all the different emotions that partner with grief is a critical part of the healing process. Similarly to how she made amends and bonded with sadness, Joy could do the same with an emotion based on grief because they both want what's best for Riley. I should drive, right? Joy? What are you doing? Uh, just uh, give me one second. Number 3. Dejection Dejection has many descriptions, but it's often known as an intense melancholy, depression, or disappointment. To counteract joy, an emotion based on dejection could help Riley process when she faces unwanted outcomes or rejections. Sometimes bad things happen and situations don't go as planned. 
making it impossible to find the silver lining. Throughout the first film, Joy does everything she can to put a positive spin on the Andersons' move to San Francisco, but certain situations won't always have a positive outcome. There are many scenarios when Riley could feel sadness or disappointment. One of the earliest examples within Inside Out is when she pretends to play hockey with her parents, only for her father to receive a business call and have to leave early. Later, she experiences disappointment when the pizza place she goes to for lunch serves slices with broccoli. These are small and daily examples that Joy easily brushes off, but dejection can appear in other ways. As Riley ages, she can experience dejection by not making the hockey team, having an unrequited crush, or falling out of a friendship. These situations would make anyone feel disappointed and disheartened, and Riley would benefit from processing and learning from them. While she may not feel very happy or content with the outcome, expressing those more negative feelings is part of the healing process. Once she has processed them, she can move on and allow Joy to continue guiding her actions. Aww. They love us. Yeah, mom and dad are pretty cool. Guys, of course they are, but we can't show it. Number 4. Regret when considering emotions that make it hard to focus on feelings of happiness, excitement, and hope, regret is one of the biggest contenders. Many situations could make someone regretful, even when they're young and trying to do the right thing. When someone regrets their choices, they can't help feeling guilty or reflecting on what they could have done differently. Sometimes, it's possible to become caught in a cycle where regret prevents someone from moving forward or feeling happy with themselves. While Riley doesn't have many situations to regret during Inside Out, she does express remorse at the end of the film when she confronts her parents and explains why she tried to run away. Riley regretted the decision because she didn't make it to Minnesota, as she abandoned her plan and left the bus before it departed from San Francisco. From the trailer for Inside Out 2, it seems that Riley may make a few choices she regrets. In preparation for high school, she desires to make new friends so she won't be alone. The trailer features a new character Riley desperately wants to spend some time with, resulting in her pulling away from her old friends. In time, Riley may realize she has great friends whom she misses. A scene in the trailer also includes Riley claiming she's the worst, with the emotional outburst bringing her near tears. This scene may be referencing something regretful Riley has done because Riley certainly doesn't seem joyous in those moments. As Riley's new emotions begin turning her into someone she's not, she will likely regret most of her choices. With such a strong emotional response, a tenth emotion could manifest as someone who could compete with Joy's endless optimism. Oh, we were worried sick. Where have you been? It's so late. Many fans speculate that Joy's counterpart hasn't appeared in the trailer or promotional material because they will become a surprise reveal at the end of Inside Out 2. If that's the case, whoever is Joy's direct counterpart could become the catalyst for a third film in the franchise. The original movie established that Riley is a happy person in her core, and like Joy, she can't help having fun and trying to be optimistic. However, even she can reach her limit when faced with stress, and that could create the perfect circumstances for Joy's counterparts to reveal reveal themselves. Like sadness, this new emotion could teach Riley that it's impossible to be happy constantly, and that it's okay to let yourself process less positive emotions. There is a dangerous smell, people. Hold on, what is that? This is disgust. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications to stay updated on our uploads. Why don't we just live in this smelly car? We've already been in it forever. Which actually was really lucky.